Anyone who has had a pet knows that the bond between animals and their owners is very different from the bonds between humans and each other. This is the unconventional story of a woman who made a wonderful friendship with a donkey that she and her husband kept at home for eight years. She and the donkey were inseparable from each other. But one day the donkey did something unexpected. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The donkey they called Johnny always liked to hug. Johnny started living on a small farm since he was just a newborn. So he got used to people and became friendly with everyone and certainly with his owner as well. It was an unusual day for 58-year-old Greta. They finally let her visit Johnny's little donkey at the zoo. When I approached him to kiss and hug him, he was clearly overjoyed. He kept jumping with apparent happiness, but she had no idea what the donkey would do next. There was a very strange connection between little donkey and Greta, but Greta didn't know that yet. She entered the area where the donkey was and did not know that he would give her a special message. Greta always loved donkeys. For her, they were animals of a special kind. In her opinion, adopting donkeys as pets in her garden is a good option as well. So she had two beautiful donkeys in her garden. These two donkeys were named Juno and Lily. She has been with these lovely animals for several years and has never been part of them. After we touched on Greta's pets, we're back to find out the rest of the amazing story about Greta and Johnny the donkey cuddling at the zoo. For a long time, Greta had been looking forward to visiting Johnny. Since the area zoo has announced it is bringing in pets for expansion, including some donkeys. The news sparked Greta's interest, of course. But because Johnny was so young, the visitors were not allowed to meet him. He was only about a year old. He looked gaunt, sad, and pathetic, so the park decided to withhold it from visitors. But she said to herself, maybe the people at the zoo are more knowledgeable than what they're doing. They're experts in their field. Nevertheless, Greta had donkeys to raise and had experience with, and she knew that Johnny's condition was not improving. For three months, she called to urge the park management to visit him. But the response always comes with delay. In the end, zoo officials finally agreed to her request. They may have told themselves that she too had donkeys and might be the right person to take care of this poor little one. They had nothing else to do so it was worth a try. The time for the expected visit came. As soon as Greta got the phone call from the zoo to tell her she might come to visit Johnny, she got in her car and headed straight for the zoo. Contrasting feelings were racing inside her of pity and eagerness to see this new baby. At the same time, she was angry with the zoo officials for making her wait so long before she was finally allowed to visit the donkey. She said to herself that this little boy needed this visit so badly. That was how she felt, and she was right. When I finally got to the park, I found that Johnny was asleep. He looked pale in the corner of his cage. Several workers in the park were trying to wake him up. They also tried to give him food and toys, but the little donkey was not responding to them at all. Then Greta approached the donkey. And here Johnny nodded and looked up intently. Then he looked at Greta, and all those present saw how the ears of the little donkey were contracting. As for what happened next, it was a surprise that astounded everyone present. When Johnny looked and saw Greta, he seemed to know her well and was even waiting for her, even though it was their first meeting. He got one his own and ran towards her. Even this donkey-loving woman couldn't describe his sudden behavior, but she certainly watched it happily. Those present watched as suddenly the little donkey came to life, and in a few seconds, Johnny had arrived near Greta. Greta opened her arms to hug Johnny, and of course Johnny agreed. He put his head in her arms and hugged her in his own way. Then he did something really amazing. Johnny started sniffing at Greta's clothes. Then suddenly he started bouncing happily up and down. He also made a distinctive sound, which Greta knew from her experience in raising donkeys to laugh. It was clear to her that this little donkey liked to have fun and play. Among those present was the owner of the zoo, who happily addressed Greta. Obviously, Johnny has become a big fan of you. Correcting him, Greta said, I think Johnny likes something else, and I think I know what that thing is. Greta told the zoo owner about her donkeys, and how wonderful and attached they were, and how strong they smell. She explained to him that she had come here right after she was checking on them and giving them food, so their smell permeated the clothes she was wearing. She added, I'm sure Johnny could smell the other donkeys in my clothes. 
and that scent is definitely what made him happy. So let me offer you a suggestion that might be a good fit for all parties. The owner of the zoo gladly accepted the offer made to him by Greta. Greta asked to adopt Johnny, so he can live in her garden with his other two donkey friends. The zoo owner couldn't find another solution for this little boy. After seeing with his own eyes how his condition had completely changed in the blink of an eye with the presence of Greta. So now Greta lives with the three donkeys, and they all love each other very much. And Johnny still jumps happily up and down every day and is no longer alone. As for Greta, she has made a new friendship that will last a lifetime.